If you like this podcast clip, you can watch the entire episode on this channel or on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Or you can check it out live on Fridays at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. S458 says, pros and cons of a new player sticking with one guitar for years. Okay, got a Strat, an acoustic, and an acoustic, but keep getting urges for a Les Paul 335 Tele Master Sounds. Uh, sure. Uh, look, it's tough because, you know, a lot of us that started on guitar, we didn't have, I didn't have resources available. And, you know, I was a kid. So parents bought me a guitar. <laughs> That's what I had, a guitar. It's a Stratty uh, guitar, and I had to play everything on that. Um, could I tell you that that's how it should be? Sure. There is definitely a argument. You said pros and cons. So let me give you the pro and con. The pro of having one guitar when you're starting out is, you know, you're, you're building muscle memory. So having one kind of neck, one kind of, you know, way to hold the guitar, all that stuff, that's probably going to be very helpful for you because you're not constantly moving around and shifting and, you know, like I said, changing your, your muscle memory of your hand position stuff. The, the the con, the downside of that, I don't think there is a downside to having only one guitar. I find that even that if you have a bunch of guitars, whether you're a rock star or a bedroom rocker or whatever you want to call it, um, whether you have a lot of guitars, I find that everybody just settles into a few guitars anyways or a few, you know, style or one or two styles of guitar. Um, there are guitars that I enjoy uh, that I feel like when I plug into them, they pull something out of me that maybe I normally wouldn't do, or they send me down a musical road that afternoon that I would have never done or wouldn't have thought to do. There is definitely truth to that. A guitar can bring a song out of you or a feeling or a technique out of you. Um, do you need a guitar to do that? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's the it's my favorite argument. I've said this before. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it because I'm laughing already. My favorite argument on the internet. It's my favorite one. No, no argument is better than this. It's the argument of like when somebody puts comments uh, in videos constantly, by the way, uh, like you don't need another guitar, <laughs> right? Like you, some YouTube channel will put like the new, uh, you know, Ibanez guitar. And then somebody will put in the comments, you know, you know, you guys don't need another guitar. You just need to practice more. And I always laugh and I'm like, where do they think that argument is? I've been looking for it for years. I have never seen the argument. You don't need to practice. You don't need to play. You just need a lot of guitars. That's all you need. <laughs> you know, it's kind of the, you don't need an expensive guitar <laughs> to play to play guitar. I'm like, and I always joke, I go, but where's that counter argument? Who's saying, look, there's only two things I know, guys. It ha you have to have a lot of expensive guitars. Otherwise, why even play, <laughs> right? So I think we all know you have to practice. I think you all know that that, in fact, have to practice you want to practice. I've said this before. You want to make music. You want to play music. Um, sometimes, though, you, you shop for stuff. What's funny is, is this. I I would rather go on a guitar. I'd rather go on Reverb and look at guitars than go on Amazon and look at stuff. You know, oh, I bought a rug. <laughs> I bought a new blender. <laughs> you know, I mean, that doesn't do anything for me. So looking at guitars is nice, but I never sit there and go, uh, well, at least in my, and again, I don't want to speak for everybody, but in my world, there's no point where I'm on reverb looking at guitars where this was my scheduled practice time. I was going to practice this afternoon, but instead I'm looking at guitars. Some of you might be doing that, but it literally, I play guitar. I'll play guitar to the point where I just don't want to play guitar anymore. <laughs> That's usually what happens with me. It's been that way for years. I'm just playing. And after a while, as much as I love it, like anything, you kind of, you know, you're you're burning out a little bit tinking around on it nothing's happening and so you go do something else and the next thing you know you're looking at guitars it's kind of fun if you like this podcast clip you can watch the entire episode on this channel or on apple podcasts spotify iHeartRadio, or you can check it out live on fridays 3 p.m pacific standard time